it is dawn in Basingstoke. By way of a coincidence, it is also dawn in Didsbury, which is the place we're looking at now. We'll be looking at Basingstoke later, but only because my mother lives there. For the purposes of this programme, it is Didsbury, not Basingstoke, that concerns us. It is morning. In the film, of course. Not in real life. In real life, it's evening. But anyway. <laughs> this is Mr. Gannett's house. It is his birthday. Across the road live Mr. and Mrs. Wally and their son, Wally. Wally? Are you coming out of that lavatory? You've been in there half an hour and your father wants his magazines back. Was it a success, dear? No, Mum, it was well cloggy. Oh, well, never mind. At least you looked. I always say a quick peek at your poo is better than a visit to the doctor because it'll never lie to you. So always peek before you pull and remember firm is fine and run is regrettable. All right? <laughs> Breakfast ready. Frozen waffles and a walnut whip and I've taken off the walnut because I know you don't like them. Fair enough. In the lounge, love, so you can have the tent. Oh, Mum. Wally. <laughs> We don't see much of Sonia these days, do we, Wally? Why don't you bring her round? She's such a nice girl, Sonia. That's the problem, Mum. Too nice, too nice. Know what I mean? Give that a portion, sort that one out, and the rest. Do me a favour. Wally! Where have all the years gone, love? Suddenly you're a grown-up, mature young man. Well, you know, do me best. Seems like only yesterday when your little privates were bald as a co-op carpet. Oh, <laughs> Mum! <laughs> Colonel Sodom, a crusty old soldier with Option. strong and challenging views. Well, don't stand about the doorway like a blasted pansy. Come on in, I shan't eat you. This curry is too mild. <laughs> Maybe if we waited a moment, sir. Box clever, you mean? Precisely, sir. Mm. <laughs> Rocket fuel. Downstairs live the Colonel's trendy lodgers. Oh, wow, Helen, this is just so sensitive. I mean, why don't we turn over the album and I can work on the other knee? Nigel, this is making me feel sick. Well, I can't exactly go upstairs and say, excuse me, Colonel Sodom, but do you think you could fart a bit more quietly? I want to work on the other knee. What else can you expect from a meat eater? Those are the screams of dead animals we can hear. Well, I'm just not going to let it bring me down, OK? I'm going for a jog round the bed. You coming? Nigel, you do not have a young adult hanging off one of your breasts. I promised Astral I'd suckle him while she was in El Salvador. Oh, wow! So that's what it is. Hey, hi, young adult. <laughs> Helen, you don't have any milk. Every child should have a memory of the memory. Christ, <laughs> Helen, that's truthful. Wow. Hey, you remember, like, before when we were, like, doing it, you know? I mean, wasn't it just, like, the most beautiful thing ever? It was disgusting. I hated every minute of it. Yeah, you didn't finish, did you? That's because you're a social democrat, Nigel. <laughs> as long as I hang around with people like you, neither I nor the revolution are ever going to come. Oh, wow. I mean, isn't it marvellous that you can say that sort of thing to me so openly? I mean, it says here in More Joy of Sex, right, that post-experience discussion is essential to a healthy relationship. We don't have a healthy relationship, Nigel. 
I despise you. But the mere fact that you can say that to me, Helen, proves how much you love me. Okay, I've got to get my skates on now. I'm giving the kids my new lecture, Bob Dylan, Buddha or Bullshit. Hey, let's see the vote Tory after that one. Nigel, you're a fascist pig. Yeah, I know, Helen, but it's going to have to wait till this evening. Naughty. Okay, ciao. <laughs> And that was, of course, Deutschmark, the fabulous new boy-girl singing sensation with their latest single, Loving You. A treat now as I'm joined by two members of the fabulous new girl-boy-girl -girl hit wonder, Ruble. Welcome along to Jan and Jay. Jan, if I could start with you, I'm sure a lot of people would be very interested to know just exactly what you find important. My music, my fans and Jay, in that order. <laughs> and Jay, what do you have to say to that? That's right. Jan and I are very much in love. <laughs> That's tremendous. Ruble with their latest sound. Down the road from Colonel Sodom's guest house is where Tracy lives. Tracy is a nice girl. <laughs> oh, Susu, shall I tell you my biggest secret ever? Oh, yes, Tracy, do. I'm in love. Tracy, you're not. I am. I know I am. Who with? Do tell you simply must. Well, last night I had a dream. Mm. I dreamt about Snoopy. <laughs> well, do you think being married to a cartoon dog will stop me from becoming a nun? <laughs> Silly, you know we've got to marry boys once we get our degrees. Oh, boys, they're only interested in one thing. I know. Collecting money for charity. <laughs> boys? It's also organised. Do you ever feel organised? Well, sometimes I get a kind of a warm glow if I've been pony checking, but I don't think I've ever had a proper organisation. <laughs> Silly. It's called an organism. <laughs> and I don't think they're considered altogether proper. Listen, I must go, cos I asked Nigel to set me some extra essays. I'll see you later. Okay. Tracy is a nice girl, but dangerous. Be constantly vigilant. Watch out 
for the sign of the blue cagoule. I know that God made every single thing for a purpose, but I just cannot understand why he made spots. <laughs> Sodom, you have saved England. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry. My fault entirely. Hello, Wally. Oh, hello, Wally. Got a paper this morning, did you? Yeah, I did. Do you want to look? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> See, there's an interesting article about Karen 17. What, uh, interested in computers, but you won't need a calculator to figure out her proportions? Yeah, that's the one. Don't want to believe everything you read in the papers, Wally. She never 17. We'll balance better reporting, though. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, would you like a seat? No, I wouldn't, you patronising little bleeder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Helen. You know, I can't help thinking that Zacco's looking sort of hungry. You know, maybe like he's starving to death. Astral left me some high bitsy orange juice, but I'm convinced it's from South Africa, so I know he wouldn't want it. <laughs> At least he won't when he's older. Oh, wow, what an incredibly sussed out little baby. Hi! I mean, most kids wouldn't even stop to think, but I still say his tummy's getting all sort of blown up and swollen. Nigel, a bloated stomach is a small price to pay for an expanded consciousness. Yeah, but all the same... God, you're such a fascist. <laughs> Zee Kyle. <laughs> oh, shut up, Zacco. Kids in El Salvador get dropped in puddles every day. <laughs> Four does strudel, six does cream horns, naughty but nice. Four does long pink things with green bobbles on, five does fruit and nut, and I don't need any jam tarts today, love. OK, thanks. Yes? <laughs> Just looking for a malt loaf. No, I'm sorry, I'm cakes. You want bread? The bread's having lunch. Well, this is a malt loaf, isn't it? No, it isn't. It's a malt fruit loaf, which is cake, and what you're after is a malt loaf, which is a loaf. Loaf <laughs> is bread, and bread's having lunch. <laughs> oh, well, I'll have a malt fruit loaf then, please. What makes sunshine or harbo? Uh, sunshine. Sounds... And you got harbo. <laughs> It's not priced. Mr. Preachard! Yes, Lord. Price small fruit loaf, are those small? What are you doing up, B? Sir, I'll just price it for you, shall I? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bit smudged. Thanks. <laughs> You got anything smaller? Uh, yes, I've got 50. You got the half? No. You got uh, the two? No, I've got a five. Well, that's no good, is it? A five. Mr. Pritchard! Um, no, change! No, it's all right. No, it's all right. Um, have you got anything for seven and a half? Um, we can round it up to 50. Well, I don't know, I'll find. Well, you could buy a bat, a flowery bat. Baps is seven and a half. Right, well, I have a bat then, please. Baps is bread. <laughs> Bread's having lunch. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, I want a, a leg of pork, please. This do you, sir? Yes, that's fine. Good. Anything else, sir? Yes, have you got carry on up the jungle? Ah, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Split. Uh, it's 137 minutes, sir. Oh, that's far too much. There's only three of us. Um, just take something off the end, would you? Certainly, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Right, Chairman Carol, please, thank you. <clears throat> come, come. Come in, sit, sit. Sorry to drag you away from your desk at this time, uh, Gannett, but there were one or two areas I wanted to raise. 
How long have you been with industrial carbofluids? Uh, 17 and a half years now, sir. 17 and a half years. So you're pushing what, 37, uh, 38? 38 today, in fact. 38 today? Yes. Mm. <coughs> what career had you in mind? <laughs> Uh, well, I'd rather envisage staying here, sir, mm -hmm. <laughs> till I retire. Yes. Never thought of stretching your wings, eh? Flying the coop? Gannett? Hmm? Uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm more than happy here, sir. As are we all, Gannett. As are we all. Do you mind if I call you Gannett? No. Good. Well, I won't mince around the bush any longer. Ga ah, Carol, thank you so much. Just pop them down there, would you, dear? Thank you. Do you know she's the best secretary I've ever had on this floor? <laughs> I'll tell you something, Gannett. I won't be getting rid of her in a hurry. Oh, good. So, what do we pay you these days? Uh, seven and a half thousand. Pounds? <laughs> yes. Seven and a half thousand pounds a year. Mm. Manage to get by on that, do we? Um, well, you know, uh, these are difficult times. God knows you're right, Gannett. We all feel the pinch. Yeah. How would you react to a cut-in salary, then? Uh, well, obviously, I wouldn't be too happy about it, yeah. but, um, you know, it's for the good of the firm. Yes. So, what would you say to a cut-in salary for the good of the firm, a figure from the air, seven and a half thousand pounds a year? <laughs> Somewhat harsh. <laughs> yes. You see, my board have asked me to reduce staff by 50%, Gannett. Now, where do you think that leaves me? Without me, sir. Go and look at it my way, Gannett. Redundancy isn't all gloom and despondency. There are schemes. God knows there are schemes. Time to do all those jobs around the house. And socialising. Do any of that? Well, you know, the odd party. Odd? How odd? You don't dress up as a bird, do you, Gannett? <laughs> well, let's address ourselves, shall we? To the terms of your redundancy, obviously there's a fairly handsome cheque in the post for you, which is probably where it'll stay. No, 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 I'm just being silly there. There's no cheque at all. Oh, um, <laughs> some of the boys in retail had a bit of a whip round, see if they couldn't get you something, but since you're not too popular around here, we didn't raise anything. I dipped in there and got you this. I hope you like it. It's a book. Oh, thanks very much. Not at all, not at all. Uh, due back in a fortnight. <laughs> so, many, many thanks. Damn it. And if there's anything you need, anything at all, please don't think about it. Ah, excuse me. Hello? Ah, Leslie. Yes, yes, nice to hear from you. Yeah, all right. Anyway, it was the same old story. He was saying religion is boring, boring, boring. You never play any good music down there. Well, incredibly luckily, I happened to have a copy of the new John Denver album, my sports hey, bag. So I showed it to him. I showed it to him and said, what's this? A hymn book? <laughs> That's great. That's incredible. Really good. Here we are, everybody. Oh, That's great. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Now, John's is the smiley mug. Thank you. David's is the lovers holding hands. Cheers, Tracy. Thanks. Bob's is the brass rubbing of Lincoln Cathedral. Thanks, Tracy. Thank you. And mine's the Snoopy. Susu's on a fast, aren't you, Susu? Yeah, keep it up, Susu. Yeah, stick with it. Look, well, are we all here? Um, Bob, do you want to. Uh... Oh, of course, yeah. Okay. Oh, Lord, thanks for this amazing coffee. It's really amazing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I like to think that, that when we say amen, what we're really saying is amazing. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be great if that were true? Yeah. Are you at peace, Bob? You look like a wing three quarter has just dropped the ball. I don't know, it's just... Well, ever since the Help the Aged sponsored walk, I've felt sort of unloved. Oh, oh, we, we love, love you, you. Bob. 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 Kumbaya, my lord. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Bob, Bob, Bob. I have a very good friend who loves you until it hurts. You've known him all your life. JC. JC, numero uno. He loved you enough to die for you so that you'd be happy. Yeah, you're right. Everything all right, Dave? Hey, hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, in. Have some coffee. Hey, we love you. Stevie, Stevie you are mad. That was my oh. landlord. But we've got to get through to the squares. We've got to show people like that that praising Jesus is no drag. Yeah. Something modern. 
Wow. Yeah. Mm. Um, well, anyway, I'd better shoot off now. That was a really great meeting. But I've got loads of essays and charity work still oh, to Ted, do. Oh, Ted, don't go. Give us a song first. Yes, oh, you can't go without a song, Ted. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus is my friend. Jesus is your friend. Jesus is everyone's friend. He's ever so friendly. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is your friend. I can't help thinking that a week ago that chop had four little legs and was running around in a field. All meat eaters should be strangled at birth. Do you know, if I half close my eyes, I can, I can still see when that little lamb chop was a pig. <laughs> sheep. Lamb is sheep. Pork is pig. They're completely different breeds, Nigel. But don't you see, Helen, there's no difference. Christ, I never thought I'd hear you make a racist comment. <laughs> oh. I see they've got a new Martian Marauders down in that west. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I was on it. I went in a hyperspace 15 times, got four replays. Could have been on it all day. Some bastard starts filling out a gyro right across the screen. Bastard, eh? Yeah, bastard. Here, Wally, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Advice. Because you're my mate. Oh, best mate's one of your best mates. I mean, anyone says different, we'll have them. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you see, last week, I was out with Sonia. What? You bastard! Oh, oh not your Sonia, Wally. My Sonia. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Wally, I was out of order now. It's just, well, I'm really worried. Because we had a few drinks, see? Yeah. And we went down the old railway line. Uh. And we was lying on the grass. I don't know how it happened, but we had a conversation. What? Yeah. What I want to know is, is that puffy? Well, it is a bit puffy, Wally. I, I think you know that. I, mean, I didn't enjoy it. Well, of course not, Wally. A moment's foolishness. <laughs> she was drinking pints, Wally. Wally, you, you was going out with a lesbian. No. She had a cherry and a slice of lemon in it. All the same. <laughs> but the worst thing was she could drink more of them than I could. <laughs> she never could. You must have miscounted. <laughs> so she deliberately got me drunk to get me into a conversation. I was just sitting there and I just copped hold of one, you know, like you do, through the jumper. The bleeding cow suddenly starts talking to me before I could get me tongue down her throat. It was over in a second. And it always the same, no, eh, Wally? A good bloke like you, Wally. Good bloke. Ruined by a bleeding woman. Already I'm so unsure my good time. Out west, everybody call it to father a Christian Union said white sticks to the blind people of Chad. Then he may not be a lot to you, but to a starving colour gentleman in Chad, it means a whole eighth of a white stick. So kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you Hey, why don't some of you people sing? You never know, you might even enjoy it. I know, Tracy, but it just makes me so mad. All I want to do is to help people who are less fortunate than I am. Oh, that's beautiful, David. <laughs> Look at that pair of prize prats. Yeah. Oh, David, look at those yobbles. Aren't they awful? Yeah. Oh, no, no, not too fussy. Oh, hi! Hi, you two. Hey, great to see you getting involved. But I hope it won't stop you kids, uh, sorry, young adults, getting doing that essay I sent you. Oh, oh we, we did, did that, that ages, ages ago, ago Nigel. Nigel. Fantastic. And don't forget, if you have any adolescent or emotional problems... Oh, we do, Nigel. Lots. Oh. Amazing. Right, don't forget, my kettle's always on the boil. Amazing. Nigel, I hope you realise that charity and religion are agents of oppression. Oh, for Christ's sake, Helen, they're great... Young adults! Nigel, you have a personality like a fascist hunter. I want to kick you in the balls. Yes, Helen, that would be good. I, I think that would help us both. <laughs> Just generously, thousands of coloured people don't get enough to eat and it makes them go blind! That's their story, young lady. But you take a look at their sheets. <laughs> Jesus loves you. Sorry? I said smile. 
Jesus loves you. Smile. Go on. Smile. <laughs> All right. Take a look, everybody. Here I am. A police officer arresting a white man. Let's get it on the record, shall we? See what bloody, bloody time he's got to say about this one. If you don't like the police, next time you get one, call a bleeding Guardian columnist. Although it won't do much good after some crazed maniacs nicked his stereo and pooed in your underwear drawer, will it? Of course it won't. I'm taking this sick degenerate down the nick. And my colleague will be circulating amongst you to collect sworn statements that you saw a copper not hassling minorities, all right? Come on, you. Will you just look at that pig hassling that black man? <laughs>